Hey guys, today we're going to learn about the science behind helium changing your voice. Now before we get into why helium changes your voice, we need to learn how your voice works. So to create sound, you vibrate the vocal cords found in your larynx, and this partially cuts off the air coming from your lungs, and this creates sound. The air that typically moves through your larynx is made mostly of nitrogen and oxygen, and this is much more dense than helium. The air that typically moves through your larynx is made of nitrogen and oxygen, which are much more dense compared to helium, and this means that sound is going to travel through them slower than it would for helium. And this is happening because it takes longer for the heavier atoms to vibrate back and forth than it would for helium. Sound will typically travel through air at a speed of around 1,100 miles per hour, but it will travel on average over 3,000 miles per hour through helium. So as the sound travels faster and faster through helium, it must have a higher frequency. And that is what makes your voice sound like a chipmunk. Now many would say that sucking in helium like I did is dangerous and should be avoided. And this is kinda true. Now helium in and of itself is safe and it's an inert gas. However, whenever you suck in helium or really any other gas for that matter, that means that you're not getting as much oxygen as you should. So if you do this repeatedly over and over without taking breaks, you can actually pass out from hypoxia or the lack of oxygen in your tissues. But whenever I did this, I was always very safe and made sure that I only took in one breath at a time and waited several minutes in between. So if you plan on doing this, just be careful. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, as much as I enjoyed creating this video, then please leave a like or subscribe. Thanks. And by the way, these hard-shaped balloons are the only ones they had left in the dollar store. But I think they're pretty cool.